we are going to evaluate the integral of x power 7 minus 1 over natural log of x dx from 0 to 1 using the Feynman's technique of integration. Now this is the first time I cover Feynman's technique of integration on this channel but the core idea of this method of integration is to perform differentiation under the integral sign. And as you will see, this method enables us to get rid of the natural law of x in the denominator, which is the pain in the neck if you were to apply standard methods of integration to this integral. So what we are going to do is to define a new function, i of t, that is the integral of x power t minus 1 over natural law of x dx from 0 to 1. Notice that our integral that we want to evaluate is just i of 7. So i of t is essentially a generalization of this type of integral to all values of t. And our integral is just a particular case of it. And now we can apply Feynman's technique of integration, which we will take the derivative of i of t with respect to t. Since the function that we are integrating is continuous over the interval 0 to 1 that we are integrating over, we can interchange the integration and the differentiation which we are now taking the partial derivative with respect to t of x power t minus 1 over natural law of x. And the partial derivative will give us x power t times natural law of x over natural law of x. The nice thing about this is that the natural law of x cancels out and we have removed the part of the integral that is holding us back from solving it. So integrating x power t with respect to x is just x power t plus 1 over t plus 1 by using the power rule for integration. Evaluating at 0 and 1, we get 1 over t plus 1. Now this is the derivative of i of t. And to get back i of t, we can simply integrate both sides, which i of t is the integral of 1 over t plus 1 dt which is natural law of absolute value of t plus 1 plus c. We now have to determine the constant c, but this follows easily by noting that i of 0 is 0, since the integrand is just 0. So when t is equal to 0, we see that c is also 0. Therefore, we get i of t is natural law of absolute value of t plus 1. And not forgetting that our integral is i of 7, so when t is 7, the integral of x power 7 minus 1 over natural law of x from 0 to 1 is just natural law of 8. If you have reached here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the video on the screen right now to watch more integrals evaluation. I will see you in that video.